Hi, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, and in this video, I'm going to show you one of the specific skills that I teach in my GED prep course to help you to increase your score by 10 points. That's right. I'm going to show you in this video one of the skills that I teach in my course to help you to increase your score by 10 points on the GED math test. But before we do that, let's go ahead and jump into some of the basic facts about the GED test, uh, specifically the math test, so that we know that we're all on the same page. The first thing you got to know is the test is organized in two parts. Part one is five questions and you cannot use a calculator. Part two is 41 questions and you can use a calculator. The test length itself is 115 minutes, so you get almost two hours uh, to complete this test. The GED math test is organized in two parts, subject matter wise. Part one is basic math. That's things like fractions, percents, basic shape measurement. Part two is 55%. You know, that's algebra. That is linear equations, quadratic equations, uh, evaluating and solving um, polynomials um, and things of that nature, inequalities. But I want to talk to you about the secret sauce, and I have a um, ebook uh, that I make available through one of my free courses that I offer online to anybody who wants to check it out um, called Stop Failing the GED Math Test Now. And in that, I talk about the secret sauce, and the secret sauce is really Webb's depth of knowledge because this is what the test questions are based upon, depth of knowledge one. Recall, that's just basic information. Do you know it? Uh, can you take some information that's given to you and use it in, in basic uh, fashion? Depth of knowledge too. Skills and concepts. Do you know the steps uh, of, of adding and subtracting fractions? Do you know the steps of solving an equation? Do you know the steps of finding uh, the slope of a line when given two points of a line? Things like that. Then step three, strategic thinking. Can you use information? Can you pull the information together um, using skills and concepts and using information that's given to get to the answer? And then depth of knowledge for which is extended thinking, more of analysis and writing and expression based upon information that you're receiving. And really on the GED test, there are no depth of knowledge for, but that's really the secret sauce. And if you want more information on that, make sure you get my ebook. We have two organizations who came together um, in, in, the, in the late 2000s, uh, the GED Testing Service and then Pearson View, a very large education publisher. These two uh, forces came together and formed what is known as the GED Testing Service, and we have them to thank for it, and the rest is history. We have our new test that changed in 2014 and uh, all the changes that continue to happen even as of March of 2016 changes were still happening to this test and all my materials are updated for these big changes. The biggest change that happened at the end of January uh, in many states and then filtered down through other states through the month of February and March and there's still a few states that have not yet made this change but they have and they being the GED testing service have changed the passing standard from 150 to 145 in my view, the big reason was that most people simply just were not passing the GED test at 150. There were just too many people who were struggling specifically at math. Um, and that's specifically what we're talking about in this video. So the new passing standard in just about every state that officially recognizes the GED test is now 145. I know that Washington, D.C. at the time of this video um, today is uh, April 12th. And, and so at the time of this video, I think Washington, D.C. and some other states, uh, Washington, the District of Columbia, and then a few other states are uh, still wrestling with this change. But most cases to pass this GED test is 145. Now, what I want to do in this video is I want to show you the anatomy of a GED question. So on your screen now, you're going to see a very basic arithmetic problem, 9.1 minus 1.7. If the GED test was this easy, most of us would just ace this thing, knock it out, and get on with the rest of our lives. So we do the simple math here, and we know that 9.1 minus 1.7 is 7.4. Now, what I can do is I can also 
add another depth of knowledge. I told you the depth of knowledge was the secret sauce. So now I'm not showing you just simple recall, but now I'm introducing a concept. And the concept in this case is the word range. So what is the range of 9.1 and 1.7? Well, you may or may not know what range is, but that's one of the concepts that's fair game to be tested on the GED math test. And so the range is simply the, the space between the high and low point. So we have 9.1 minus 1.7 uh, and still going to get 7.4. So the range of these two numbers is 7.4. Now, again, we're talking depth of knowledge. Again, this is a secret sauce. So 9.1. Minus 1.7, just as a question, is easy. You add the concept of range, you're going to start catching people. Now, I'm going to introduce now a graphic. So now I'm not giving you numbers and I'm simply asking you a question. What is the range of inches of snowfall in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, the week of January 1st, 2015? And so now uh, you see, <clears throat> excuse me this chart here and then you have to be able to pick out the concept of range again but now pick out data and if i can show my mouse here uh, at 9.1 being the high point and then you have, would have to recognize that 1.7 is the low point and then do that basic math again for the range but again it's not just simply 9.1 minus 1.7 but it's the concept of the range and then now i'm introducing data that you're going to have to work with and then i'm going to show you some mistakes here so this is a multiple choice question so some people might mistake the range for being the average and so they would add up all of these numbers and divide it by six and if you did that you would get 4.8 further if you did not understand the concept of range you would get 9.1 maybe thinking the range was the highest amount and so there's another opportunity for you to make a mistake the correct answer we've already done and then just the math here so for example if you were to do the math and maybe make a mistake uh, let me get my pen here and so if you were to do 9.1 um, minus 1.7 and say you borrow and made that 11 but you forgot to change that 9 to 8 okay and so you did 11 minus 7 is 0.4 and then you forgot so say you didn't do this and you did 9 minus 1 is 8.4 well, then that mistake is waiting, ready and willing for you to choose. So we know that our correct answer is here. Ding, 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 7.4. But again, now you see how the depth of knowledge comes into play on the GED test. This is how my students break through on the GED test. So again, you have that simple 9.1 minus 1.7 equals 7.4, but I can add a concept like range and then I can add a word and a picture problem to complicate the matter to really test you to see only that you can do 9.1 minus 1.7, of course, arithmetic. But can you do the interpretive work that's required from the GED test? If you really want to have success at this, you can get a high quality course that I've developed um, at my website, www.mygedlive.com, and it will help you to break through. Again, we're talking about breakthrough here. You can see we have the, the binder, we have the six DVDs, and they're ready to get to you in your mailbox and give you what you need to have success on this test and get on with the rest of your life. And you can find those at my website, www.mygedlive.com. Again, this is GED teacher Damon Tennant, giving you one of the secrets that I teach in my course to help you to increase your score on that math test, uh, specifically by 10 points. There are things I can show you right now that you're missing, and you can increase your test score by 10 points. And for many people, that's gonna mean that the next time around, you are going to pass this test. Again, this is GD teacher Damon Tennant thanking you for taking the time to watch this video.